Let's talk about Billy Joe Saunders. I know you, you'll probably be at the workout tomorrow in Paddington um, with him. He's training for a show at the beginning of November, I believe. Any progress on who the opponent might be? Not yet, but, you know, it's, it's same again. He's, he's been in boxing a long time. He's got a date. But the most important thing is the date, not really the opponent. It's the date where you've got to train towards, especially with Billy. It's and the, the weight. The weight, that's what I'm saying. You, you need the date. And he's, he's, well, he's been in camp for the last five weeks. He did a four weeks previous to that in Marbella with Tyson and Ben Davison. So, you know, he's on track. He's making 12 stone. Um, it's got to be decent opponents. It's, you know, it's got to be. Um, so we're going we're gonna to get the announcement tomorrow. I think they've given him a list. We're going to probably go have a talk through tonight and see who we, who, who we think is suitable and, and go that way. I'm not going to give you the list because I'm not supposed to. Uh, I'm going to know the only person who matters on the list tomorrow anyway. Sorry? <laughs> I'll know the only person on the list who matters by tomorrow anyway. So. Probably will do, yeah. I mean, you're, you're the boxing expert. But No, you said they're going to announce it tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, but I'm saying, but you'll, you'll, like I say, you know, we'll see you, aren't we? But um, yeah, he's doing good, Billy. He's, uh, he's on track and uh, I think it's about seven weeks six weeks on Saturday to go and he's in a good place already yeah how do you feel about being chief support to KSI Logan Paul I think I asked you that before but as it's kind of built in yeah, you know, notoriety if you like people have asked me that and I've, I've had to listen to a couple of their interviews in the podcast and well, they're just two kids scrapping around with a lot of followers aren't they but that's that's the thing it's like you know it's entertainment and we pay for entertainment or people or YouTubers pay for entertainment these days and it's all about numbers and media so look if people are going to pay for it it must it must be appealing to somebody you know, um, so they've got a big audience and that will like, give exposure to all the rest of the boxing. Maybe fans will look at them too and think, this is a lot of rubbish and this is the proper stuff. Or maybe they think, you know, KSI and Logan are the proper stuff and the rest of the Bulls are a lot of, lot of trash, I don't know. But it's going to do big numbers. It's going to get a lot of exposure. There's going to be a lot of money involved. If it works out, it's good for everybody. And if it, we get a crossover from, you know, the YouTubers into the normal realms of boxing, that's even better because, you know, no matter what anybody thinks, boxing is a minority sport compared to football and all these other things. You know, it's, it's a niche sport. We love it, uh, you know, and it's doing all right, but it could always do with more exposure. In a related question, if you could box or fight any celebrity, in inverted commas, I don't know why I did that because the camera's not on me, but yeah, in inverted commas, who would it be and why? I don't know. I've got my me, me, me mind, my me eye on somebody uh, in Frank Warren's office who I'd like to box, but uh, that's not going to happen. So we'd have to think of a celebrity. Uh, I don't know. I think anybody who probably fancied it, it's um, it's always a challenge, isn't it? I don't. There's not many celebrities who can actually fight properly. And I used to box amateur anyway. It's, it's not really a fair matchup, is it? So um, you know, we'll see. We might have to put that on your social media page and like as a poll and see if it wants to, you know, wants to challenge me. And I'll, I'll pick the smallest and the weakest person and give him a good good beat down. I think. Sounds good to me. Frank Warren's office, you said. I mean, I wouldn't expect you to name who it is, but it's Andy Ayling, obviously, of course. So, anyway, moving on. <laughs> yeah, moving swiftly on.